All right, well, you may have seen me do lots of Olight flashlight videos, or you've watched my metal detecting exploring videos, and you know that I always have flashlights on me, and I use them pretty much every day, all the time. And you may be wondering, with all of the ones that I have, and this is just my Olight collection, I have ones from other brands that I used to use, but, you know, I have the Olight love thing happening. So, what are my most used and favorite lights? What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you three that are my most used, favorite, and then there'll be two honorable mentions because they are always on and in my backpack. Okay. In no particular order. The Warrior 3S, the Baton 3 Pro Max, neutral white. The, the Warrior 3S's are all cool white. And then the Baton 3 Pro in neutral white. Yes, they're all orange. When I am outside, in the woods, whatever, I like a lot of my gear to be high visibility, especially my flashlights. So that's why these are my actual three most used. But what I'm going to do so it makes it easier for you guys watching is we'll take you and put you there. We'll put the purple for that. And then for the Baton 3 Pro Max, we will switch out for a black. So, now we can easily see the difference. Okay, so, the Warrior 3S came out in April of 2022. Been carrying it since. Carried the Warrior 3 before that. Baton 3 Pro Max came out in January of 23. Got myself the early access in October of 22. Been carrying it off and on since then. And Baton 3 Pro came out in September. So almost a year for this flashlight. Now, why these three and the differences? Two things. Out metal detecting, filming every day, and or exploring. I need a source of light many times for really two things. When I dig something up out of the ground, I need to see the detail and film it. And then if I happen to be looking, you know, in a area where I need to see further into the ground, it's, you know, a pile of rocks, cavernous, cellar hole, whatever. So I need a flashlight with me all the time. We all carry flashlights. And I used to always carry the Warrior 3S with me because it was my main flashlight for quite a while. And, you know, I like the tight spotlight beam, but it wasn't always the best for getting the shot. And it pretty much turned out to be, one, because it was cool white, and two, it was too spotty. I find that the, the Pro Max is absolutely perfect in the neutral white option with that much flood. So I use this all the time when I'm shooting the B-roll of whatever it is that I dug out of the ground. With the magnetic base, it holds its own weight. So I can stick it to my shovel, get the shot. Awesome. So the Baton 3 Pro Max has become the, the filming everyday flashlight. And my Warrior 3S has become my nighttime flashlight. It's got so much throw on it, it's just awesome. And that, the low setting, the 15, the 200, is, is great. Even the 1 lumen is... It's like pinching the end of a garden hose, how much light you can concentrate and 
see what you need to see is really remarkable compared to all the others. And with that 21700 battery, it just lasts forever. And also with that larger battery, it gives me the confidence when I leave the house with it. I know it's got plenty of juice in it and I don't, I probably charge it once every month, month and a half. So that is that light because of its spot, it's cool white, it's just a different animal. Baton 3 Pro Max, neutral white, floody, again it's just the complete opposite. But both completely usable for different things. And then that's where the Baton 3 Pro comes in right in the middle. It really does. It has just enough spot, just enough flood, you know, not crazy extremes like these two. It's really in the middle. This is actually my most used flashlight. So I alternate these two out daytime, nighttime, all the time. You know, I didn't choose, like, I'm buying that flashlight and that's going to be my EDC. It just happens. It picks you. And you can see by my orange one, it has plenty of patina on it. It's getting worn nicely. I've had that since November, so it's at eight, nine months. Carried every day. And it's just been great. Now, the thing about that is, is because it's smaller. This is an 18650. I use this as my headlamp a lot because it goes right on my ball cap. It's light enough. I used to always carry the standard Baton 3. That was my secondary flashlight to, you know, say the Warrior 3S. But as soon as the 3 Pro came out, I fell in love with it because it was everything that the S2R Baton 2 was not. Heavy duty, pocket clip, large side switch, and neutral white option. So, those are the three flashlights that at least for the last year and a half, because this is the oldest of the three, that I have been using most frequently. You know, and it's been a natural progression from, like I said, the Warrior 3, from the M2R, from the Baton 3 to the Baton 3 Pro. So now on to the honorable mention flashlights. Again, if you watch my videos of me out in the woods, you notice that on my backpack, I always have an orange I-5R. And that's because it fits perfectly in the Molly. It's small, it's inexpensive, it's bright, it's rechargeable, and it's a tail cap switch. So it stays on my bag for hands-free operation. You know, it's just another light to have and it doesn't weigh absolutely anything. So as you can see, I've been collecting from the i5T up to the i5R and that is just one everyone should have in their collection if you wear a backpack with Molly you get it stick it on there just make sure you charge it every couple months that's that one and the other one which you never see because it's in my pack is my complete emergency you know really bad got to have it flashlight meaning if for some crazy reason I lose my flashlights or they run out I always have that in there so this is the i1R2 Pro as you can see the theme with the orange it's just super small Again, doesn't weigh anything. It's USB-C rechargeable. 
for such a small flashlight, it's really bright. And again, goes into the backpack. Forget it's there. It's small, light, but it's always there. And the way that Olight gives things away, you know, every month for signing in during a sale, uh, you're bound to get one. And, you know, like last month's, it was the orange periwinkle that was a free gift, so. Can't beat that. So there you go. There are my most used flashlights. And, you know, you can kind of see that by what I have in my collection. A whole bunch of batons, a whole bunch of warriors. Uh, the baton 3, which I still love, just haven't been carrying it. I-5s, and then, you know, the mixture selection, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Have to have a Marauder for when I need to go outside because something's out in the yard. Oh, actually, failed to mention the other thing about the Warrior 3S. We just lost electricity again because of a summer storm, and... These are the flashlights that I stage around the house because the 21700 battery, long uh, run time, it's that tight beam. You put this on 15 lumens, the second setting, put it in candlelight mode, say right here, and it gives you plenty enough light to be able to see so I put one in pretty much every room because I have, you know, a do uh, 10, a dozen of them. And that 15 lumens, let me check. That'll run for 130 hours like that. I didn't get into the crazy deep details of, you know, 2300 lumens max, 2500 lumens max, 1500 lumens max, all that stuff because... If you're interested, you're going to go look up the lights anyways and then, you know, go down that rabbit hole. By the way, links are down below to olightstore.com. And for watching my channel, if you're interested in any of these or any other Olight stuff, use my coupon code SDNT10. That'll get you 10% off anything that's not on sale, except for the big X9R. That's it. I just wanted to come on and let you guys know, for those who wanted to know, what it is that I prefer to use out of all of this. And like I said, I didn't necessarily buy, pick, and choose and say, that's going to be the light I'm going to use. They picked me. And before it all began, I never knew I loved orange. <laughs> but apparently I do. I guess really do. That's kind of weird. All right. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.